This video is going to go over how to install your new 3D Pets folding elbow joint. We will go through the process step by step alongside the instruction manual that comes with your elbow. Please feel free to pause and rewind at any point and if you have any questions, please reach out to our office at info at 3dpetsprosthetics.com with any relevant photos or videos. Please remember not to touch the tension bolt. This is marked on your elbow joint with a red sticker. Undoing this bolt will void your product warranty and will render the product defective. Now let's get started. First, make sure to gather all of the materials that you need. In addition to the elbow joint and your pet's prosthesis, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, your Allen key that was provided with your prosthesis, a hacksaw, a tape measure or a ruler, and a permanent marker. Make sure that your elbow has all of the listed componentry. You will also receive four additional longer screws in case you find that you need them. Identify your tension bolt. This is the bolt marked with a red sticker. It is imperative that you do not unscrew this bolt at any point during the process. Step one, look through the window in the mount adapter to see where the pylon ends. Mark the location on the adapter with a permanent marker. This height will be different for everyone. If you already have a mark on your adapter from when you got your device but have since changed the height of the leg, you can easily remove the old mark with alcohol before making a new one. Step two, once marked, loosen the mount adapter set screw with the Allen key, removing the pylon leg. Don't take the screw all the way out. Just loosen it enough that there is a gap in the adapter and the pylon slides out easily. Step three, using a hacksaw, cut the pylon to compensate for the added height of the folding elbow. If you are unsure of your elbow size, you can find it on the cover and in the notes section of your instruction manual. For our size small, you will cut off two inches, and for our size large, you will cut off two and a half inches. Step four, take a photo of the pylon adapter from all sides to remember the pitch and orientation of the leg as well as the wedge if your device has one. It's important to note the distance of all the adapter screws so that when you put it back on, you maintain the same pitch the leg was previously set at. Step five, with the Allen key, loosen the screws to remove the mount adapter. Do not remove the screws all the way. Just loosen them enough that you can easily slide the mount adapter off the pyramid mount. These screws were secured with adhesive when your device was built, so if they are difficult to get started, that's okay. If that's the case, insert the shorter end of your Allen key to get more leverage. Twist back and forth to break the seal and then continue to unscrew. Step six, using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws to detach the pyramid mount. Do not push too hard, use just enough pressure to let the screw push itself out. Just like the adapter screws, it may be difficult at first to break the adhesive seal. Simply twist the screw back and forth until you can easily back it out. If you have a wedge, keep track of the screws as they may vary in size according to placement. The orientation photos you took in step 4 will help you to keep track of these as the longer screws will go with the thicker part of the wedge and the shorter with the thinner part of the wedge. Step seven, using the Allen key, remove the main bolt. Make sure it is not the tension bolt. As a reminder, removing the tension bolt will render the product effective and void your warranty. Step eight, 
Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the set screw. This screw should be on the same side as the main bolt. Step 9. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four small screws in the base of the folding elbow. Put these four small screws aside for later steps. Step 10. Remove the metal cuff by sliding it off. The cuff will slide off behind the tension bolt, so you don't need to remove it. If your device has a wedge, make sure to place that on the mount before aligning the cuff. Align it to your jacket in the orientation shown below. The side with the tension bolt and slit in the metal cuff should face the inside of the remaining front leg and jacket. Step 11. In this orientation, use the four screws you took from the pyramid mount and attach the metal cuff, cuff plate, and wedge if you had one onto the jacket as shown. The flat side of the cuff plate faces the jacket and sits flush with the metal cuff. If you have a wedge, the small screws that came taped to the elbow joint will not reach the receiving nut on the inside of the jacket. At this point, use the screws you set aside earlier from the pyramid mount in the same holes you took them out of or use the longer screws provided in the packaging with the elbow. Make sure you are not screwing in on an angle or pushing too hard. If you feel resistance before the screws are flush, back the screw out and start over gently. You should feel the screws catch the receiving nut on the inside of the jacket. Step 12. Slide the metal cuff back into place over the elbow joint. The cuff will slide in right behind the tension bolt, so you do not have to remove it. Step 13. Put the main bolt back in and use the Allen key to tighten snugly. Be careful not to push the tension bolt out of place while doing so. Make sure you are not screwing in on an angle and not pushing too hard. If you feel resistance, back the bolt out and start over gently. The best way to make sure the tension bolt isn't backing out is to place one hand on it while you're putting the main bolt back in. Step 14. Put the set screw back in and use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten snugly. The set screw is the one with the pointed end, but don't worry, it is not able to come out the other side of the elbow joint. Step 15. Test the elbow once it's secured to the jacket mount. It should bend with a slight resistance, then snap back into place when you let go. Step 16. With the four small screws provided, attach the pyramid mount onto the bottom of the elbow. Make sure you're not screwing in on an angle and not pushing too hard. If you do so, you may dislodge the heat set inserts. If this happens, simply guide them back into place and try again. If you start to feel resistance before the screws are flush, Back the screw out and start over it gently.
Step 17. Add the pylon adapter onto the pyramid mount and tighten in the same pitch it was before, referencing the photos from Step 4. Make sure the mount adapter set screw is facing the outside away from your pet's remaining leg. Step 18. Insert the pylon back into the pylon adapter with the freshly cut end of the pylon lining up with the line marked in step 1. Step 19. Using the Allen key, tighten the pylon set screws snugly. Step 20. Check the locking mechanism. To prevent the elbow from bending, you can move the lever up to lock the leg straight. Step 21. Email us clear photos from all sides and a video so we can make sure everything is aligned properly. Congrats, you did it! If for any reason you're still having trouble with the install of your pet's elbow joint, don't hesitate to reach out to ask us any questions that you may have. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing how your pet does with their newly upgraded device. As always, thank you for working with us here at 3D Pets.